Hi guys. I'm doing good. I hope you all are doing the same. Let's get into extracurricular activities. How about that? Sounds good. This sounds great. Man, I really didn't want to come to class this morning. I'd much rather have stayed in bed. I feel you there. I can't start slacking off when the new semester has barely even started, though. Morning, Andrew. Good morning, Darius. Ready for class? It's like whatever. I guess I'm ready. I'd rather be somewhere else right now, but I suppose I've got to take care of my classes first. You got any plans for the day? Ah, uh, nothing right now. Good, that means you're gonna have lunch with me today. I, I told you I'd like to take you somewhere nice, so why not today? Well, you did, but what about Spencer? I don't know if you noticed, but Spencer wasn't really interested in going anywhere with me. He's not that fond of me. I've never really noticed that. You know, he makes it obvious, though. I don't know how you haven't noticed. But, uh, we're not gonna really get into that right now. You have math right after coach's class, right? Yeah. Then just meet me outside of the math building after that class. I'll be waiting for you there. We'll grab some lunch and just ride around on my bike. On your bike again? Yeah, the weather's been too perfect not to be riding her around. But, what about yesterday's bike ride? What about it? You enjoyed it, didn't you? It wasn't bad, but what about, uh... Oh, you're embarrassed because you got hard while riding with me. Don't worry about it. That's not a big deal. You'll get used to it after riding with me a few more times. I have to stop by my mechanic for a tune-up. Ooh, I can't wait to see Azigal in this new art. But while he's checking her out, we can have some lunch at a place nearby. Sound good to you? Alright then, sounds like fun. We better head in now. Class is about to start. Yeah... Coach's class started with him passing out the papers he had you turn in on Tuesday. Most of you did just fine, but there are a few of you that I really expected more out of. For you, I've marked your papers with a time I'd like you to come back and see me. If you can't make that time, see me after class and we'll reschedule. This class isn't to be taken lightly, and I do expect you all to put in the work required to pass. Now to start today's lecture. And we're done. Well, that class seemed to last a little longer than normal, and Darius stayed behind to talk to the coach, it looks like. Guess he was one that didn't do too hot on that paper. I'll ask him about it later, though. For now, I gotta get to my math class. Math went by at a quicker pace than your previous class, so it didn't feel as long. At the end of class, the end of class consisted of people working on the assigned homework, and it gave everyone a chance to chat for a minute before leaving. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Spence. What's up? You have any plans for after class? I was thinking about grabbing lunch in the cafeteria again before I head out. We don't want to lie to Spencer. Everyone says truth, I says truth too. Oh, well. I'm going to have lunch with Darius. Uh, he wants to take me to lunch today. Really? I don't suppose he has intentions on asking me, does he? He said that you didn't seem interested in it when he mentioned it, so he <laughs> doesn't intend to ask you. Well, I can't say he's wrong. You and Darius don't get along, do you? Well, at least you don't get along with him. Why? Because he has only one thing on his mind. Don't you see that? I know he's a bit of a pervert at times, Spence, but what's wrong with giving him a chance to show there's more to him than that? There isn't more to him than that. That's why. Tell me. Trust me. All he wants to do is get in your pants. I'm sure he wants to get in everyone's pants, but he's not taking everyone out to lunch. As far as you know, just don't be so easy to trust him, Andrew. Geez, Spence, give the guy a little chance, would ya? It's hard to with how he acts. I just don't want to see him hurt you. I'll be fine, don't worry. Alright then, just call me or text me if you need me then, okay? Will do, Spence. I'm heading off now. Be careful. I guess I'll see you later. Spencer doesn't trust him at all. Has something happened between them that I don't know about? Oh, well, there is, but we don't know about it yet in game. Oh, where is Darius? Ah, yeah, there he is. Hey, Darius. Oh, finally, you ready to get going? Yeah. So where are we heading? We're gonna drop off my bike. We're gonna drop my bike off at the mechanic first, then walk to a grill that's near there for lunch. It's about a 15 minute ride from here. We'll get on the freeway for a few miles and then it's off Robes Boulevard. Here's your helmet. Get your stuff 
situated and hop on so we can get going. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty hungry right now. You slid the helmet over your head and double-checked your bag before jumping on the bike with da behind Darius. Like the day before, you wrapped your arms around his waist. Here we go! He ripped up his bike, and in just a few moments, you were on the road. The start of the ride was pretty smooth as you held on to Darius. Traffic wasn't, wasn't bad around the school and the surrounding roads. It wasn't until he pulled onto the freeway that you hugged him even tighter. He sped up considerably, and the traffic was heavier there. Darius was funneling between cars, and at times you thought he was going to run into them. You were thankful that he spent time on the you you were thankful that the time spent on the freeway was short, and he took an exit soon after he had gotten on. Your nerves were a little shaken, but after being back on a normal road, you relaxed again and enjoyed what was left on the ride. Ah, oh, that good old polygonal background. Here we are. Let me go get my guy. I'll be back in a sec. You had never been to this part of the city, but it was nice. The streets and sidewalks were bustling with activity. People were dressed in anything from business suits to just casual outfits. It was a diverse place. Andrew, this- Whoa, my god, look at Azagal. He looks fucking terrifying. Holy shit! He looks cool, too. Like, that. his mechanic outfit looks like he's like a- Like, he looks like M. Bison, almost. Good lord. <laughs> Andrew, this is my mechanic, M. Bison, apparently. I'd not trust anyone else with my bike. Hello, nice to meet you. The pleasure's mine. I see what you mean, Darius. <laughs> oh, it's been a while. It has been a while, hasn't it, as a gal? Huh? Don't worry about it. Anyway, I'll leave this to you, as a gal. All right. I'll take a look at her and do what I can. I have a lot of work to do right now, so it'll take a couple of hours at least. No rush here, we're going to eat and I'll be back in a while. Heading to the grill if you want me to bring back, bring back anything for you. I'll pass this time. You guys have fun. Great guy! Good god, man. Pancake! Great guy, he does excellent work too. And he's always treated me well. Let's head down to the grill now, it's only a couple blocks down. I can smell the food from here and it's making me drool. What kind of food does this place have? It's a grill! What the fuck? What? The <laughs> you walked with Darius as. Uh, you talked with Darius as you walked down a busy street. Burgers, hot dogs, chicken steak, and fish. As uh, just about anything you could want in the serving sizes are huge! I eat there a couple of times a week normally. They have some of the best food around and the atmosphere is pretty chill. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. After a short walk, Darius motioned at, the rus at a rustic looking building nestled among the other buildings. Here we are, Bob's Grill, best meat around. Oh my, look at this place. Isn't it a little fucking weird to have a mounted deer head on the wall? I mean, at that logic, you could also say that it's weird that they're eating meat, but like... In worlds with anthropomorphic animals, there's also the uh, the wild animals that aren't anthropomorphic, and they're considered to be basically... I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. All I know is it's a little fucking weird. Come on, we can grab a table and, be, and someone will be with us in a moment. You follow Darius to a table, taking a moment to admire the inside of the restaurant. The insides resemble that of a log cabin with various decorations of items you might find out on a farm. This place has an interesting design to it. Isn't it great? It's really relaxing. It's great during winter because because there's giant fireplace they keep burning. It's a great and it's great to sit by while you eat. Oh hey, I feel like this is one of the your character here things. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about your character here placements, but at the same time, I'm like whatever. Welcome to Bob's. Oh hey, Darius, welcome back. Hey, Ma, how's it been today? Busy as always. You want the usual today? You know it. It looks like you got someone new with you today. What do you have? Oh, uh, what do you guys suggest? Just get him the same thing as me. Pretty confident he's gonna love it. Alrighty, Dad. Two Hungry Jack Platters coming up. I'll bring you drinks out in a moment. Hungry Jack Platter? What did you order me? You'll see when it comes out. I hope you're hungry. I am? I guess you weren't kidding when you said you eat here often, huh? I wasn't. Since I work near here, I come by fairly often. Most everybody that works here knows my order by now. Lord of Pandemonium! Ah! You work near here? What do you do for work? 
Oh, you don't know, do you? Nobody else on the team knows either, so I guess I'm not surprised. Is it a secret? Not really, but nobody asks, so nobody really knows. Well, I'm asking. What do you do? I'm a stunt bike driver. Stunt bike driver? Yep. I'm sure you've seen that soda commercial with the guy jumping his motorcycle over rooftops to get his drink, haven't you? I uh, can't say that I have. Don't normally watch TV or anything like that. Really? I'll show you on my phone then. Darius used his phone to show you a commercial of exactly what he explained to you. The person in the video had a helmet on the entire time, though, so you never saw who it was. That guy on the motorcycle is me. Really? Yeah, pretty cool, huh? That is awesome, Darius. I had no idea you'd be doing something like that. Most people around me don't. I do these stunts for commercials, and I've never even, I've even done them for a couple movies. As a matter of fact, I'm working on one right now. It's why I've been uh, having a hard time keeping up with work in class. Most of the shooting is done on the weekends, since they work with me knowing I have other things to do. But from time to time during the week, they need me. Man, that's so cool. You'll have to show me some of the, some of the other things you've done. Sure, maybe I can even get you on the set one day for the movie I'm working on. My job has some pretty nice perks, and they allow us to bring guests every now and then. Sounds like that'd be fun. You'll have to get me in. I'll see what I can do. And it's nearby? Yeah, it's a pretty popular studio in the city, so we do a lot of shooting there and the surrounding area. Sometimes we have to travel, but it's not too often. It's a pretty good job. The pay is great for it, and what I do is dangerous. Have you ever been hurt? Have you ever hurt yourself doing it? Mm, I did hurt myself pretty badly once. Broke a couple of ribs the year before last. Aside from that, most of my crashes and mishaps just result in some bruises or soreness. I couldn't do anything like that. It's enough of a thrill riding on the bike normally with you. It's a huge rush, that's for sure. It really makes me feel alive, you know? I love what I do. That's great. Not a lot of people can say that. So what about you? What do you do? Oh, me? Uh, well, I'm currently unemployed. My workplace closed down due to lack of business, so I'm currently looking for work. Oh, man, that sucks. I've heard it's a tough kind of work lately. Yeah, hasn't been easy, but I'm sure I'll find something soon. I'll check with my guys, too, see if there's anything open. Seems they're always hiring new people. Really? That'd be cool. Thanks, Darius. Yeah, sure thing. Wouldn't be too bad having you around the sets. Oh boy, and it looks like our food is ready now. Just check this out. Alright guys, here we go. Two Hungry Jack platters. Uh, uh, is there anything else I can bring you? Nah, I think we're good. Thanks, Ma. If you guys need anything else, just let me know. Will do. Placed before you was a plate covered in a variety of foods. You had a hamburger, grilled chicken, a medley of vegetables, and mashed potatoes slathered in brown gravy. Jesus, a lot of food. That's why it's called the Hungry Jack. Better start eating. How does he eat this as often as he says he does and look the way he does? This is a ton of food. I guess I better start eating. You continued making small talk with Darius while you ate, and while you were with him, something occurred to you. This whole time I've been with him, he's not made a single pass at me. He's completely different when we're just one-on-one -on -one like this. I said, deal with that. You okay, Andrew? You're staring into nothingness. Oh, I I'm fine, just thinking is all. The food is really damn good. How much was the bill? Don't worry about it, I've got it covered. I told you, it's my treat. Are you sure? Yeah, it's cool. I mean, you don't have a job, and the price of this food wouldn't be a would be enough for to buy food for a few days. Yeah, well, thanks, then. <sighs> you didn't have to put it that way. I owe you for this, then. Well, if you really want to pay me back, I know what you can do for me. He grinned, propping his chin on his hand while staring at you across the table. Well, there goes that he's different while you're alone thing. Ah, here it comes. And what would that be? Come have some fun with me at my place sometime. There's nothing wrong with a couple friends hanging out, fooling around. I wondered when that guy's side of I wondered when that side of you would come back out to play. At least it isn't a surprise to you, right? It's not, but it's fun getting to see a side of you that isn't a pervert. I'm pretty sure that's the reason Spencer is against me hanging out with you. <laughs> of course he would be. He's not very fond of me, in case you haven't noticed. He's way too uptight about anything sexual, and he tends to shun me for it. I think in the last one we defended Spencer, but 
if we're trying to make the better choices this time around, if we're trying to uh, be in Darius's good graces, it might be a good idea to agree with him. So I'd probably go with that, but again, this is a stream, so what do y'all say? If y'all are saying agree, then let's go with agree. Boom. He can be at times, but is it so wrong? Some people just view it differently than you do. I suppose that's true. How do you feel about it? I don't know, or it's something special. Now we got another choice. And everyone's saying it's special. So let's go with that. I think it's something special for people to share. <laughs> One of those sappy romantic types, are you? Nothing wrong with that, I guess. I used to feel that way. Things happen though, and it kind of messes up how you feel things. Darius? Don't worry about it, I'll save that for another time. Anyway, I think it's time to pack, pick, pick my bike up. I'm sure Isaac's done by now. Has it already been that long already? Already, already? Already, ready, Freddy? Yeah, time's really flown by sitting here chatting. Let's head back now. Talking about the Smash Mouth? Yeah. <laughs> God. He arrived back at the shop with Darius to find the tiger wheeled up underneath another vehicle. Hey, yes, the girl. Asgo rolled up from underneath his car and wiped off his paws as he stood up. Welcome back, you two. Oh, good Christ. lord. What? <laughs> Welcome back. Well, I mean, look at the dude I'm voicing here. Is this guy? <laughs> yeah. He just... looked way more menacing in the old version, and now he looks more normal, but still, holy shit. All done with my bike. Also, in case you hear some shit, my neighbor's TV has turned up to fucking max volume. Uh, but I'm the last person on the goddamn planet who can complain to people about about them being loud, so... Hmm. <laughs> Here's uh, a montage of us screaming at 3 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we're terrible neighbors. Yeah. Yeah, she's right over there. Everything is pretty good still. Put some air in the tires, changed the oil, and ran all of the general diagnostics. She's running great, so you're doing a good job taking care of her. Good to hear, I do what I can. I'll go ahead and go pay for it, invoice at the counter. As always, I'll keep your friend here company till you finish up. All right. Frankie, <laughs> <he's a> hostage, <laughs> until you pay your bill. All right, I'll be back in a moment. Come grab some coffee with me while we wait for him. Coffee? Right now? Of course! Coffee is good at any time! You followed the tiger to a small room in the direction Darius had left. It looked to be just a normal break room. Asgall adjusted his outfit while you followed him, hiding his expansive chest from you once again. Aww. You want a cup? <laughs> you good? Cop. You want a cop? <laughs> I think it's obvious we say yes on this one. Yes, coffee. Coffee, yes. Yes, coffee. Yes with the coffee. Hell yeah. Sure, I'll have a cop. Good, I'll pour you one. Nothing like a strong cup of coffee to keep you going through the day. He handed you a cup and motioned for you to take a seat. He handed you a cap and motioned for you to take a seat. So, is this the first time I've s shit? I fucked up my line. So, this is the first time I've seen you around here. I guess you're a friend of Darius's. Yeah, we played tennis together. Yeah, we played tennis. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just about to say, hmm, Christopher Walken showed I, up. I had uh, played tennis. I'm a quarterback. Scored a dunk. There are four potatoes! Oh, you're one of those guys, huh? It's good to see him actually bring a friend here by here, then. What do you mean by that? Darius has been coming to my shop for a while, so I know him pretty well. He's brought a few guys around here before, but they never seem to know him, and I've never seen them more than once. It's oh. a good change. I see. But those other guys could have just been people he was working with. Don't mind this tiger's rambling. It's just, Darius looks different around you than those others. He seems... happy. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> I just love you so much. <laughs> what is this? Happy? 
happiness in my shop? You dare to bring happiness to a gunfight? It just shoots you out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah? It's good to hear. <laughs> How long have you known him? Hmm, a few years at least. I see him every couple of weeks. He really cares about his bike, so he stops by frequently to make sure it's running perfectly. Perfectly. Ha <laughs> ha! I made a joke! <sighs> Hell, he even came by once when he had a... When a... Uh, when a... Rock! Had skipped off the road. And made a tiny scratch on the paint. And we do a little touch-up job on it. Seriously took all of five minutes to fix. But he was so torn up about it. Uh -huh. Guess I should be careful when I'm around his motorcycle then. Definitely. I'd hate to hear news of him throwing someone off his bike while riding down the freeway. Foreshadowing, you're gonna wreck the bike. Yeah, definitely. I I don't think he'd do that. You've not seen how he gets around his baby yet. Uh, I guess he wouldn't throw you off. You're actually a friend of his, so you might be safe from such drastic measures. Count yourself lucky. I can't tell if he's joking or being serious right now. Yeah, you are. Uh, you two are just having a cup of coffee. You want some? <laughs> that transition was not as smooth as I wanted it to be. No, but it was beautiful. It's a coffee. Smash biscuit. Stop. <laughs> nah, that stuff wrecks me. I don't normally drink it. Trying to make a move on Andrew as the gal. Me? I do nothing like that, Darius. I'm at work right now, so you know better. Yeah, like that stopped you before. Chick, I don't know what you're talking about. Sure you don't. You might, you might think I'm a sly cat, Andrew, but he's no better than me. Hey, now, you better watch yourself, or I'll charge you double the next time you're here. I'm starting to think Darius doesn't just show up to fix his motorcycle. Probably not. Lubrication! Uh, <laughs> that's not helping your case, Annie. Come on, Andrew, let's get going before he tries something funny. He's no better off going with you than he is staying here with me. Catch you next time, Tiger. Uh, it was a pleasure meeting you, nice guy. Likewise. I get the feeling we'll meet again, uh, meet again, though. In the meantime... Keep an eye on him. In a very confusing sex dream. <laughs> <laughs> Am I supposed to like this? I don't know. <laughs> I do, though. <laughs> Your pleasure is no concern of mine, boy. His tone says murder, but his body says... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> his tone says... His body his, his, his you good? His tone says murder, but his body says murder. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. You two certainly have an interesting relationship. The game is fucking talking to us. Synonymous syn synonyms? No! No! Synonym! Nim! Secret of synonym! I'm not gonna open my fucking open mouth. mouth. Get out, cunt! Open your mouth. I'll shove this fucking trash can up your trash hole. Shut up. <laughs> You call me worse literally all the time. No, I know. Like I said, I've been coming to him for a while. He's a great guy, really. Not so many people I trust as much as him. Anyway, let's get on the road. We're not taking the freeway back home. We're going to take a more scenic route. Hop on and let's go. The route he took led you to the edge of the city to a long stretch of road between the, an expensive, expansive field and a dense forest towards a mountain range. There were a few cars on the road, so Darius kept a consistent speed down the straight path. It was far more relaxing than to drive to the auto shop. You'd finally become confident enough to lean away from, uh, from hugging Darius and look around. You were beginning to understand the thrill Darius must get from riding a motorcycle. At least you could when your surroundings consisted of an open road and nothing else around you. All right, here we are. Was that better than the freeway? Much better. It was a really nice ride. I like. It was like taking that road when I just want to clear my mind. I don't have to put as much thought into wearing, uh, weaving through traffic. Anytime you want to take a ride down there, let me know and I'll take you. 
I know some great roads away from everything, so if you like that, I'll take you down there another one. Cool, I'll keep that in mind. Anyway, I gotta go back and talk to Coach now. Oh, I forgot about that. I guess you didn't do so hot on the paper. I didn't uh, have time to read the material between tennis work and school. Some things tougher, and I have some kind of st and I have some kind of social life too. Try not to fall too behind, Darius. Don't worry, I'll manage. I always do one way or another. Anyway, I'll see you around, Andrew. Thanks for joining me today. It was fun. Yeah, thanks for taking me out. I'll see you later. Time to head back home. I wish Spencer would give Darius a chance to get to know him a bit better. He's not that bad of a guy when you get past his perverted nature. I bet the three of us could have fun together. He makes a nice contrast to Spencer's more serious self. Maybe I can convince him to hang out with us one day just to show him. And that's the end of the day. So thank you all very much for watching this day of Darius. I think the next episode will be the last one of the Darius route, unless they've added more of the days uh, that have the new art. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, I've been the trainer professional speaker for the voices of my head. We'll say until next time, fairly well. Bye, everyone.